Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the 11th Excel 2010 VBA tutorial. And today's topic should be pretty short. I just wanted to talk about variables a little bit and variable data types in Excel VBA to give you an overview of the more popular items um, or popular data types. So I'm going to um, just jump onto a web page here real quick and show you. So these are a list of uh, the data types that you have as an option in Excel VBA. What you'll notice is there's a data type called variant. By default, if you don't identify your data type in Excel VBA, it will be a variant data type, which means it can it can work, it can be um, a string, it can be a number, it can be an integer. Um, but it's also not as efficient to use that. Um, programs take longer to run and so forth. If it's a really simple program, no big deal. As it gets more uh, complex, you probably want to be more, more specific and identify data types. So I'm just going to hit a few of them here. So one data type is Boolean, which is true or false uh, as an option. Integer goes from around negative 32,000 to 32, positive 32,767. And so those would be whole numbers. Um, if you want to use decimal points, you probably would use a double, right? And that'll give you double precision floating point. So if you're doing, you know, 19.5 plus 27.35 or something like that, you'd want to use a double um, in order to calculate that correctly. If you use integers, it will just automatically round. I'm going to go in here and show you a couple quick examples here too. Um, you can use long which would be if you have um, uh, a very high number for an integer, right? See long integer. And again, the integer would be a whole number. And then you can use um, currency, um, self-explanatory. Um, and then there's decimal. And then um, strings are used quite a bit for text strings. And then date would be another common one, right? To put it in a date format for um, like here, December 31st, 9999, or whatever the appropriate year is. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to jump back into Excel. I'm going to go into Developer. I'm going to go into Visual Basic. I am going to insert a module. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's create a new... Let's do this. Let's call it a variable. And then uh, let's do A is equal to 2, B is equal to 5, and then we're going to say Z is equal to A plus B, right? And then what we'll do is we'll do message box, and then we will prompt and say the total. So let me do this and put it in quotes and that'll be text. The total value is, and then I'll do a space, and then I will close the quote. And then I use ampersand, and then I go ahead and I use the variable that I want to put here. So I want this variable, I want z, since z is going to be a plus b. All right, then I hit return, and now I run that. Notice I haven't identified any of these variable types. Okay, the total value is 7. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to go back over here. Now if I were to go over here and I were to do 2.5 for A, I run that and the total value is 7.5. That worked because it's an integer. All right, so now, I'm sorry, that worked because it's a variant and it, it automatically adjusts for me. So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare um, A, this, which is this variable here, as an integer. And I'm going to do the same thing for B as an integer. And I'm going to show you what happens here. So now what you'll see is these are integers, so this should come out to 2.5 and 5, which is 7.5. So now I'm going to run that, and now you can see what happens. It just it equals 7, not 7.5. So in order to fix that, I'm going to change this and make this a double. And again, what a double will let you do 
it will use the decimal points. All right, the total value is 7.5. Okay, so, uh, okay, I am going to declare A as a string. And I'm going to do the same thing for B. And I'm going to run it. And now you see what happened is, what it did is it took 2.5 and then added 0.5 to it. So if you're having issues with things not working correctly, just make sure that things are declared um, correctly, your variables are um, declared correctly, and that's really what I want to share with you today. Hopefully that helps. And thanks for joining, and please subscribe. Take care.